www.mvremix.com um, I recently interviewed the OJs and they criticised younger R&B singers for their lack of sincerity and emotion. Uh, yeah. With the fact that you've had a really hectic schedule since your teenage years, uh, do you feel you have to kind of act or are you able to be completely sincere in your music? Um, I think now that um, I've come of age and um, I really understand what love is, I mean, because don't get me wrong, um, artists can, uh, you know, fling the sincerity and fling, you know, the true meaning behind music uh, around all the time. I, I totally agree, you know, with the OJs, but um, I think I'm, I'm this time around, you know, with my first solo album and my first song, Oh, that um, I can get, you know, the sincerity of, you know, what R&B is across. Cool, cool. How do you respond when people discredit you and B2K as being manufactured? Um... I don't care, and the reason why I don't care is because um, B2K was something of the past. I really had a great time. I loved, um, you know, working with those guys, and um, at the same time, I really don't. I don't feel like that's a true statement. Um, I really felt that um, if we would have kept going on, that we probably would have been, you know, um, the next, you know, like big thing. We were on our, um, um, what was that? We was going to be on our third album, and um, her last album uh, prior to us departing went, um, I think, like 1.4 or something like that. Nice. So we were actually on our way. So when people talk about, you know, um, you know, like teeny boppers or, you know, um, groups that, that pretty much were um, manufactured, I don't, I don't think we were one of them. What's the current situation with the group? Are there any signs of a possible reconciliation or is it done with? Well, it's kind of hard to say because um, you know how guys are. We're, we're stubborn. You know, and uh, with everything going on right now, um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to say because uh, you know I'm working a lot and it's just it's real hard. I don't know. I can't I can't really say I can't I can't really see that much far in the future. Don't get me wrong. If I saw one of them, then you know I definitely would speak. Matter of fact, I saw Raz B um, about uh, two weeks ago. Gave me pound and he said congratulations. I haven't spoke with the other one. So, but you know I'm not. I'm not, uh, you know, uh, closing any doors or anything like that. Hey, hey, grab me, hey, grab me some here in Nelfield. Hello, I'm sorry. It's okay. So, what separates you from the other R&B singers of your age bracket, apart from, of course, the success? Um, definitely, uh, my music, uh, who I am as a person, um, you know, um, how I talk about music, uh, how I dance, how I perform. You know, my first song is a slow song, and you haven't haven't seen. When was the last time you ever seen anyone dance to a slow song the way that you know I'm dancing to the slow song? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I would just say different in essence. You know, I love to perform, and I am I I think I'm uh, what you would call a true dancer. I love I and enjoy performing for people. Cool, cool. For those of yet to pick up O, oh, what can you tell us about it? Um, if you love the single, you'll love the album. Um, and if you haven't heard the single, then I think it's something you should check out because, um, you know, I have some great music on there. Um, I have, I have, uh, the Neptunes on the album. I have a song featuring Pharrell, Rodney Jerkins, LT Hutton, um, The Underdogs, uh, Corner Boys, and I actually, uh, wrote five joints on the album as well. So yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Cool. I think I think people will enjoy the music. It's real universal. It's definitely talking about love because that's the realest feeling on earth. Um, it's not you know uh, taught. You know, it's just something that you kind of feel. So definitely talking about that. And it's a great album. I love it. Oh, Big Boy is on the album too. Big Boy from Outkast. So if you like Big Boy, you definitely um, want to cop that album. Cool. So why was Big Boy the only guest on the album? Well, I didn't want to cut up my album with too many different artists because this is my first solo album. So I kind of wanted to, to focus, you know, to be so more, so much more on me. Um, sorry, on me. And um, yeah, I didn't want to cut up the album, and I thought Big Boy was was definitely well. He well, Outkast is the hottest rap duo in the industry right now. So yeah, definitely. I had to get them on. So now, if you had to compare the album to a designer label or car, which would you choose and why? Um, I would compare it to, um, Bentley or, or Phantom, 
my Rolls Royce. <laughs> and the reason why I say it is because um, the next time, you know, you hear anything from a Marion, it always will be consistent. Phantom and Bentleys are high-priced cars. These are cars that um, when manufactured and they come out with a new model, it's always hotter than the last one. Yeah. So um, that's what I would compare myself to. Cool. In your opinion, is an artist credible even if they only thrive in the studio with technology? Um, mm, have they had music out? Uh, yeah, basically. I mean, and have. what I've heard, I mean, I've heard mixed things because, of course, The Love Below is a beautiful album, but I've heard yeah. one of the reasons that Dre didn't tour is because of the fact that there was a lot of effects which kind of heightened the quality of it. Do you think an artist is still credible if they do something like that? Um, yes, and the reason why is because um, the world today is easily bored, you know, with um, you know the same the same quality of music. Uh, in order to shock your audience, you have to be different. You have to do things differently. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like you know, if you're an artist and you're successful and something works for you. You know, you definitely should be credited. I'm not sure if you necessarily going to be respected in the industry for that, but, yeah, you definitely should be, you know, credited for that, for sure. Cool. What are you listening to at the moment? Um, I listen to a lot of gospel music. Um, I enjoy listening to gospel. Kim Burrell, uh, Karen Clark, Kiki um, Shear, um, who else? Jay Moss, um, who else? Um, I say Kim Burrell. Um, just a lot of gospel. Um, and, and as far as like on a rap front, I know this sounds crazy because it, it really doesn't mix. But you know, um, Fifty Out just came out, so you know, I I love his album. Um, who else? Uh, you know, Jay Z. Uh, who else? You know, just everybody that's good. You know, everybody that's putting out good music. Ludacris, of course. Definitely. That's about it. What are your thoughts on John Legend? Oh yeah, John Legend, that's my label mate. He's real talented. Cool. He's a real talented dude. And uh, I'm actually happy that, you know, somebody, um, you know, is kind of like a a counter to Alicia Keys because, you know, he plays the piano in the scene as well, so. Yeah, yeah. Now have fun with this one. All Out Fight Club, if you could fight any celebrity, who would you fight? All Out Fight Club, who would I fight? Well, you know on Fight Club they have that little joke about if you could fight a celebrity, who would you fight? Right. I've had but answers. I, I, mm, let me see. Uh, I've had answers ranging from Gary Coleman to Arnold Schwarzenegger to Elijah Muhammad. Okay. Um. Let me think. Just a fun fantasy question. Like a fun, like like to get into a fight with somebody. Yeah. Um. Uh, let me think. What would be a, who would be a good fight? Who annoys you? Who would who? Annoys you. Who would, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Who annoys you? Who sort of aggravates you in, in the media world? Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Now, uh, who, who could I fight with? That would be fun. Like, like that irritates, that irritates me in, in the, um, like in the industry. Like, even if it's an actor or, I don't know who's an ass. Let me think. <laughs> I don't know, that's a hard one. Who would you pick? I like the Gary Coleman answer. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Gary Coleman, is, that would be funny. That would be funny. <laughs> Just because it's sort of, yeah. you know, pick on the little guy. Right. <laughs> so, um, what's your favorite Ray Charles track? Um, Georgia. Georgia, 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 Georgia. And, um, and, um, the other one, um, what is it? What is it called? Um, how does it go? Um, I'll hit the road. Yeah, don't you come back. That one, I love that one. Nice, nice. What about Marvin Gaye? What's your favorite Marvin Gaye track? Um, definitely. Uh, um, uh, we got to fight. We just love it. Yeah, today. Oh, down in our sister. What's that song? Oh, I forget the title, but I I know which one you mean. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Apart from promoting the album, what upcoming projects do you have in the works? Collaborations, film projects, that sort of thing. Yeah, film projects. I got. I just signed a two-picture deal over at Paramount Fashion and TV Films. 
So um, I have two films that I have to shoot on this year. One called The House is a Scary Movie. It's going to be real good. Myself, Marcus Hughes, and Chris Stokes. And uh, what else? Another one called Soldier, which is actually like a kind of like a dance film as well. You guys heard so. Cool. Um, what are your thoughts on what happened with Houston earlier in the year with the suicide attempt and such? You know what? I went to high school with him, and um, I know, I know, I know, dude like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I thought I was like kind of sad, and I hope he, you know everything is cool and that he's all right. Cause you know, um, if you don't have people to keep you sane, you know, like good family members of love and stuff like that around you all the time, you can go crazy. Now I'm not, I'm not, you know, sure about the eye poking and all that stuff, you know. But uh, I just wish him luck, you know. I hope everything's cool with him. I wish he wouldn't have did that to his eye, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, um, when you have, when God gives you the the, the ableness uh, to see, you know, when you can't see no more, you know, it's something, you know, that you got to deal with. You can't bring your eye back, you know? Definitely. Do you have any last words to your fans or potential fans that are going to be reading this? Yeah, um, check your boy Omari out if you have the album. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you want to have the album, check me out. I, I think you'll and, uh, enjoy the music. And thank you uh, for the first week sales, all my fans, making me number one. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you.